Power back up and running for about 800 Salton Sea residents, but 1,200 are still in the dark tonight after wind gusts took down 76 power poles. The Red Cross now creating a shelter to help residents there. News Channel 3's Samantha Lomibau spoke with residents who are still being impacted by last night's storm. Some power has been restored, but at one point today, 2,500 residents here in the Salton City area were left in the dark after gusty winds knocked down dozens of power poles, just like the one right here behind me. These outages not only impacting residents, but two local schools as well. Crews working to restore power after at least 76 power poles were knocked down. You could see them on the ground for about a mile just off of Highway 86 in Salton City, causing thousands of residents to be left without power for the day. I mean, we heard banging, we heard cracking, we heard fences going down. Uh, 1130, it just went dark. Including longtime resident Anthony Marmalejo, who said he was shocked of how strong those winds were. I couldn't believe it. It's just something you don't see, something like it won't happen to us here. You know, but it, it's reality. It hits home when you, when you see that, you know. It's like nothing he's ever seen before. I have, you know, my kids were here and stuff like that. So we were going to get a hotel, but everything was sold out. Generators, you know, they were rented out and stuff like that. So it was, it was an experience. The power outages even prompting West Shores High School and Seaview Elementary and Middle Schools to cancel classes. Salton City resident Carla Sanchez told me her sister was one of the students impacted. Unfortunately, she had to come back home, um, but I know a lot of people that, you know, they had to come back from work because their kids were having to come back home um, from elementary and high school as well. And at home, Sanchez also woke up without power. We did realize the power had gone out last night and we woke up to still no lights. The strong, gusty winds swept through her neighborhood. I feel like this has been maybe a little worse than it's been in the past, especially with all the light posts coming down. Fortunately, Sanchez's power was restored by the end of the day, but she says that's not always the case. I mean, it's really hard. Only very few people have generators out here, um, if we're lucky. Um, otherwise, you know, we kind of have to go into town and there's nothing close out here, so we have to drive minimum half an hour to an hour. IID says some residents will be without power for another 24 hours and it could take up to another few days until power is fully restored in this area. As for West Shores High and Seaview Elementary and Middle, school will not be back by tomorrow. In Salton City, Samantha Mebow, News Channel 3.